Billy, that was a, um, a big moment for you, you know, on, on debut starting a test. Um, how did you, what did you make of the whole experience? Um, yeah, it was pretty surreal. Um, yeah, I guess it's still, still I guess, settling in. Um, that, you know, just become an All Black, um, I guess that's a uh, Kiwi rugby player's dream. Um, and yeah, it was an awesome, awesome occasion. Um, and yeah, it was, it was an awesome night. Cool, cool stadium to do it in. Um, you know, 30, 30 odd thousand there. Um, fireworks, music, they had it all. So um, yeah, awesome occasion. And um, I saw you nod down, so did you ever a try celebration? Like, or was it too early in your career for that? <laughs> nah, I got, I got nothing up my sleeve, eh? I need to work on that. Um, but yeah, I got nothing, I got uh, something I need to work on, I think. <laughs> and for you, Sam, as well, like you, um, you know, got on and I guess a bit like Noah, it's just all been a, has it been a bit of a whirlwind? What's it been like for you? Yeah, um, it has been, yeah. Obviously, wasn't named in that initial squad um, and got told I'd come in for a bit of injury cover and um, a wee bit unsure as to how long I was going to be in for, but just wanted to kind of get stuck in and make the most of it. And then, yeah, fortunately, um, ended up over here and, and managed to sneak my way onto the paddock. So, um, yeah, just so so stoked and grateful to, to get a run. And what are, you, what are your takeaways from your first test? What did you make of it? Far out. I honestly couldn't tell you much of what happened out there to be fair. <laughs> Bit of a blur, you know. Um, everything just kind of happened so quickly and all of a sudden it's, it's over. Um, but I guess just, just so awesome taking the field with um, such high quality players. Um, growing up watching a lot of those boys on TV um, and to then come in and train with them and then, and then be given the opportunity to go out and, and take the field is just um, such an awesome feeling and, and to be able to kind of join the the All Blacks club, I guess, is um, as Billy said, every every Kiwi kid's dream, and, and something that um, yeah, I guess we've all kind of been, been wanting for for a long time. And, and Caleb, just for you, you, you um, put in a really good performance for the NFL scouts, you know, um, <laughs> watching, so you must be happy with that. Yeah, I purposely threw the ball when we had a penalty, and I threw it to D Mac. I was like, oh, just try and sneak a little NFL throw. Um, met Todd Gurley the other day, so he taught me how to run some lines out there, but. Um, yeah, just had heaps of heaps of fun with my mates and um, super stoked for um, the boys that made their debut, um, especially these two. Billy's been my roommate the whole week, so um, it's been pretty cool. And um, as well as doing um, blue season with, with Sam, and so yeah, just real stoked. Caleb, after not getting too many minutes, the first couple of uh, matches this, this tour, um, did, did it feel good to go out with a performance like that? Yeah, just. Oh, like the boy said, it's every Kiwi kid's dream to put on the black jersey and um, it's sort of no different if you've done it before. Uh, it's still alive and well and just really grateful to, to get out there and put on that special 11 jersey again. Um, so, yeah, really grateful and um, yeah, just trying to put my best foot forward and, yeah, I'm just, just real happy and it's a good time out there. San Diego's really fun. So the crowd is electric. Um, the boys were on and yeah, it was just a good time. Yeah, I was going to ask, could you hear them? It was pretty loud for us in the stands, mm. but did you guys hear them on the field? Yeah, there was a point where I was screaming at Billy and Wallace and they couldn't hear me and I was like 10 metres away from them, like, looking around like, guys, shut up for like 10 seconds. But, um, no, it was, it was just really special. Caleb, you've been here before, obviously knew you, you guys, but um, as a whole, what was your assessment of, of Razor as, as his, you know, as the end of his first tour? What did you make of him? Me or the yeah yeah oh. yeah um, I've loved having him um, in the environment. It's not just him as well. It's um, the relationship he's had with all the coaches. Um, everyone's had their specific role, and, and I think it's just a, a well-oiled machine. Um, so and that's Razor leading it. So it's been awesome. And um, again, he gets around everyone, uh, makes sure that he knows how you're going and um, how you are personally before all the rugby. So I think that's. Um, the key as a as a coach is making sure you know you're on a personal level with all the players, and um, you know he's ticked that off in this first three three matches, and looking forward to whatever's ahead. How important is it for Caleb to bring the game to you know these parts of the world, especially it's a side like mm. Fiji? Yeah, I think it's awesome. You know that the Fijians have that Fijian flair whenever they play. So um, coming out to a place like America, who doesn't often see international rugby. Um, get to see the flashy side that, that the Fijians bring um, and then also us getting to experience, oh, 
sort of show our culture with the haka. I know that's probably one thing that Americans know of New Zealanders and the, and the All Blacks is the haka. Um, so it's just real special and um, just speaking to some of the, the supporters out there, they had no idea what was happening but they just loved the vibes, um, just saw um, heaps of contact, um, people getting trucked or, or lateraled or whatever you call it. So um, yeah, it's a real good time and um, I think it's pretty important, especially with the World Cup that's coming up here in a couple of years as well. So um, just to experience that. And Sam or Billy um, was performing the haka another special moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, it's same thing. You know, you, you grow up watching watching the All Blacks do the haka, and it's something that um, I guess is, is special to them, um, and I guess they're known for. Um, so yeah, to be able to do that for the first time, um, it's pretty cool. Um, great win. I know you guys are going to celebrate tonight, of course, with some music. So can each of you share your favourite go-to New Zealand song with our American audience? New Zealand song? Yes. <laughs> I've actually been quite enjoying um, uh, Zach Bryan. Not a Kiwi, but a, an American, so a um, bit of country music. So that's why I've been over here. thought I'd get in the spirit, you know. Um, can't go past 660. Um, the boys, you can play anything of theirs and... Um, it gets the boys going, so... Yeah. I was going to say exactly the same, <laughs> 660. Um, I think they may be in America at the moment, but, um, yeah, one of their songs is um, hard to go by in terms of musical artists. Awesome, and what do, you, what do you guys like about America that's not in New Zealand? The food. <laughs> Food's been really nice. Been trying to stay away from, um, you know, a lot of the... There's like a taco place down the road that I was keen to try the whole week. I think it's Taco Algado or something like that. Um, so you'll probably see me there tonight, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's probably one thing you Zealand doesn't have. Awesome, and is there anything you guys like to share with your New Zealand-based audience here in America? Uh, just, just a massive thanks to everyone who came out to the game tonight. Um, as Caleb touched on the crowd, it was just awesome, you know. Um, Americans love their sport, and American Kiwis or, or people over here just love their sport, and they know how to, how to um, really support and, and make a real, really cool atmosphere and vibe at the game. Um, you know, obviously, a few times there was a few stoppages out there, but the fans just, you know, kept cheering, kept buddy, you know, being happy, to, just happy to be there, and they just, just make it such a good time. So thanks to everyone for coming in. Billy, I um, understand your dad's here. Can you tell us about that journey he's made and, and how special that was for you? Yeah, both my parents, so my mum, dad, and my partner um, made the trip over. Uh, I think they came a couple of days ago, but you know, it's even a bit more. Uh, special um, that they were there in the stands um, and got to see them after and, um, you know pretty cool to see um, how proud they were and um, I guess how happy they were for, for me so um, yeah, it was a special moment after the game.